Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I am gonna just share with you some things I enjoyed during the month of May. And I also want to announce the winners. I have 11 of them from my last video. It was my skincare video. The so, first thing that comes to mind in May is I got to spend Mother's Day with both of my children and some of my grandchildren. And it was just, it was absolutely wonderful. I kind of feel like a fraud on Mother's Day. I don't know if any anybody else out there does because all my life, Mother's Day was about my mother. So every year, I mean, I miss her every single day. She died in 2010 and I miss her every single day, but I think Mother's Day should be about my mom and it's really funny when it's, when it's about me. And I know this has probably happened to a lot of you, but that was my very first thing that I thought of when I thought of things I enjoyed in May. Another thing I really enjoyed, my grandson, who's a senior in high school, graduated, and my bonus grandson graduated from eighth grade, and I'm gonna put a picture of both of them in here. And the tall one is the one that's a senior, and the one that isn't as tall is the one that is going to be a freshman in high school. And we had a get together uh, and had just such a good time. And they're both just really, really special young men. And I love them with all my heart. We had really nice cool weather until just about the 20th of May. So I did get to wear my winter pajamas uh, quite a bit longer this year than I usually do. So now it's gonna be my lightweight pajamas. And well, all I can say is I look forward to wearing them again when autumn arrives. Something that I was, <laughs> there was something I was really proud of in May. And you all may have seen it, you may not have, but it was my yearly skincare update video. You have no idea how hard it was for me to edit that. And I'm not a technical person, but anytime I put footage or photos, or well, the worst part for me was I did the demonstration and I talked behind the demonstration, if that makes any sense. Because, you know, when you're demonstrating how you're doing something, it's hard to talk and explain it. So that was a real challenge. And I was very happy that I finally got it up. And you can see why I don't ever film in my bathroom. No matter what time of day, the lighting is horrible. That's all windows all the way across. And it's just is hard to do. And I'm working on the video that will come up next, I hope, if my fingers are crossed. And that is just the extra things I do, the derma rolling, thing, things that I do not every day, that I may do once a week or just a couple of times a week. So I'll have that challenge again, but I, now that I know I made it through the first one, uh, it may not be as hard, but it is, it's a challenge for me. Every time I upload a video to my iMovie, um, editor. It's where you cut and splice and sometimes I put my... Anyway, I don't know about that. I had quite a few questions when I put up the video and I'll put a picture of my, me and my wig and I'll link the video below about how comfortable this wig is. Well, I'm going to link some channels below that can tell you everything you need to know about wigs if you're interested. The first person that I ever heard speak about wigs that I can remember was Junebug. 1029, I think. Her name's Joan. I'll link her below. The next person I remember talking about wigs was Monica, and uh, I'll link Monica's channel below. And then Marlene. She has just strictly a wig channel, and then she has a beauty channel too. And then Babs, and she's from the channel Take Control Beauty, I believe. But I'm going to link those all below and, and just put wigs videos. So anyway, I'm going to show you the inside of the cap. And the longest I've worn it so far is six hours, and it was extremely comfortable. I couldn't believe it, but it's not hot yet. But quite a few years ago, I had a cap that was made very similarly on the inside. See, I can stick my finger through any of these holes. You have to poke the hair back. So that is not hot. This is different than I used to. This is a monofilament, and what that means, I can part it different ways, and this is a lace front. Once I've worn it longer, and if you're really interested about the heat, if you have to wear a wig all the time, it may be a lot different than somebody that just has to wear it occasionally or chooses to wear it occasionally. But I really have enjoyed this, and this was one of my favorites. And I bought this 
from Wig Studio One when they had a sale. So another thing that uh, was good in May is on May 19th, that was my seven year anniversary that I uploaded my very first YouTube video. And I'll put the number up here somewhere. I can't remember how many videos I have up on YouTube now. And um, it's just hard to believe that seven years later, I am still here and I'm still making videos and I I plan on continuing. As long as you all are watching and uh, seem to enjoy, I'm gonna keep making videos. I haven't purchased much lately. I have not been really interested in buying anything. But there were a few things I bought, and I bought them because of somebody. And the first thing I purchased was Jessica Simpson Fancy. Francis from Happiness Sparkle. Anytime I mention somebody, I'm going to put their link below. But she bought this, and she loved it. And I have worn it several times, and I really like it. It is a little bit sweet. I'm not even going to try to describe any notes because I don't know. I just know if I like it or not. And I know if Jim likes it or not. And this passed the Jim test and it passed my test and it was very affordable. I like all kinds of colognes. I like opium. The original opium oil is my very, very favorite. And I like just the opium spray and the body creams. I like black opium. I like C by, I think, Oscar de la Renta. I'm not sure who that's by. And I like um, Dylan Blue. I think that's by Dolce & Gabbana. I just like several scents and, and they're all different. So I was happy Francis mentioned this and now I have a new scent to wear and I've ordered something else and we'll see if next time, if I have it in my favorites, if I don't have it in my favorites, well, that means I've given it to somebody. I am so glad I write down who I hear something from. If a YouTuber talks about a product and I think I may be interested, I have a place on my computer that I, you know, things I'm interested in. Well, I love, love, love the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Moisturizing Shower Gel. It's a moisturizing shower cream gel, and I love it. I, I love the scent. I like the way it makes my body feel, but this is very expensive. I think it's like, for the 33 ounce one, I think it's $49, which is very expensive. And I've, I don't buy this for myself, but I have received it as gifts and my family know that I, they know that I really like it and they know I think it's special. And I also like the Boom Boom Cream. I still do not use, some people have been asking what I use for my body. I don't use any lotion on my body. It has not become dry yet. And when it does, I'll, I'll use something that I, I just don't like the feel of it. But I, the Boom Boom Cream, I will put on the inside of my arms just to smell it. It smells really good and it's made by Sol de Janeiro. Well, when Laura Ray mentioned she found something that smelled very similar to the Boom Boom Cream, it was, it's the OGX Ultra Moisture Extra Creamy Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash and it is excellent. It smells very, very similar. This smells, has a little bit more coconut and the other has a little bit more, to me it smells a little bit more caramelly, but for, this is $6.99 for 19 and a half ounces. This is 36 cents an ounce, and the Soja de Janeiro, I think was $1.43 per ounce. So, I mean, almost five times cheaper this is, and it's really nice, and my body doesn't get dry at all, either with either one of them. So thank you, Laura Ray, for mentioning it because I really do like it. Now this may be a little bit too much information, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you. I always keep a box of matches in a drawer right in my bathroom. And this, after someone uses a bathroom, it does deodorize your bathroom. And I always kept a small little thing of matches in my purse because it does the same. It will deodorize it. Well, a few years ago, you know, when we were traveling, <laughs> If you lit a match in a bathroom, oh my gosh, people would think you were smoking. And I don't smoke, I used to, but, but I quit seven years ago. So I ordered to have in my purse, I've had just the Before You Go Poopery, and it's a nice little size, and I don't think I've ever had to use it, but I always keep it in my purse. And in the bathroom, I bought some, uh, some of the Poopery Before You Go spray, and it's four ounces. 
and I don't remember how much this is. I, I'll link it below if you're curious. So I was watching my friend Elle is for living. So in her empties, she'd always have some Glade Cashmere Woods deodorizer. And she said you just put one spray in the toilet, use the bathroom, and the scent is gone. And for 97 cents, that is true. Don't have to worry about matches. Don't more have to worry about a match breaking off. And I know this is aerosol, and I know you can use essential oils. Jim is more likely to spray one spray in the toilet than to try to put a drop or two of essential oil. And I don't really have many essential oils anyway. But I was really happy to have this, and I will be a repeat purchaser. And I got it for 97 cents from Walmart. And, I don't know. and for my friends on here who also enjoy the Built Bars, I'm sure these are not available to order anymore, but you know how I am. I, 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 I want to tell you about it because they may come out with them again. And I love the Built Bars. They work so well in my life. And they come out with new flavors and, and new products. And I think they wait and see what sticks and then they offer them again. They had something called Sweet Fire and I just had to get them. And I saved one so I could show it to you and I, and I can't wait to eat it. This is the size of the bar. They're a pretty good sized bar. And I cut it open and I hope you can see there's little tiny pieces of jalapeno. I love it. I love sweet and spicy. And the inside is super chewy. So if you don't like something that's chewy, it's like a thick, dense caramel. But it has, I think this had 140 calories, I think about 17 grams of protein, and it has four net carbs. And that's what I, I count the net carbs because I subtract sugar alcohol. And I think the sugar alcohol that's in here is erythritol. I'm not positive. I'll put it up here if it's not but it does not trigger an uncomfortable stomach. If I, if I eat a whole one, on an, even on an empty stomach, it wouldn't. So that's why I like it. And the other thing, once spring and summer are here, I, I need more protein because I've drawn to certain vegetables, a lot of vegetables, a certain fruit, and I'm just not as, I don't crave meat as much. So I can get 17 grams in this one bar, and I really like it. Not too long ago, they came out with a, it was a white chocolate birthday cake one, and I wasn't tempted to try that one. I, I have enough, and I do keep my extras in the freezer. But, and they had a sale on mist sized built bars, whether they were too large or too small. And if you bought one, you got a box free. I paid $30.29 for 18, no, for 36 bars. I bought two boxes, I, I, and I bought the cookies and cream. And so I've already stuck those in the freezer. But that means it's 84 cents a bar, which I think is, for me, that's a bargain. Because I like it. But if you all have some protein bars that you like, let me know. Because I'm open to try anything. I'll tell you what used to really, really work for me that I loved. And it was by South Beach. And it was a cinnamon raisin bar. And it had quite a bit of fiber, uh, quite a bit of protein. And it wasn't real low in carbs, but it was I could eat it, and it didn't trigger cravings. And they quit making those, but I used to, anytime I'd find them, I'd buy a bunch of them. And that would be a perfect snack for me through the day, sometimes a meal replacement. And I usually had them in my purse. So if I ever got stuck someplace, I always had something and didn't have to get, you know, like fast food. And before I announce the winners, I'm just gonna share with you a couple of things I've been enjoying on television. I got the Discovery Plus app. And what I'll do is I'll try an app and I'll, like I I had um, HBO Max for a while and I, you know, kind of put it to sleep, didn't, don't subscribe to it. And I'd got Discovery Plus and I found a show that I used to watch that I loved and it's called Rehab Addict. And the woman's name is Nicole Curtis and she lives up in Minneapolis and in, in Detroit, Michigan. But what she does, if you don't know about what she does, she buys homes, a lot of homes that are, well, she bought one house from the, one house for a dollar. That's the one I just watched from, it was gonna be condemned. And just how talented she is and what she does, what I really, really like about it, is she tries to restore it to how it was when it was built. And you know, I live in a home that was built in 1891 so I really try to keep things as true. You know, I have paisley wallpaper. You know, that's what they would have had back in the day. 
and I just try to keep it as uh, true to the period as possible. So I really enjoy that. I always love it when the voice is on. I love to watch the singers improve. I think it's exciting. I especially like it when I know the song. When, so when I don't know the song, I don't like it as well. And something that's on a history channel that I absolutely, you can, you'll be able to tell I'm really kind of a nerd. <laughs> I am. But there was a series that was on last year and it was just called Food That Built America. And now this year they've had The Foods That Built America. It was the first episode I watched. I, it was so fascinating. It was like right around 1870 when people were starting to move from the country to the cities and the meat supply wasn't great. And a lot of times they sold kind of tainted beef. It didn't, it just, just didn't taste good. And this guy named Heinz was his last name. He made a sauce that covered that flavor. And I always wondered how condiments came into being, but what they needed was something that they couldn't taste the flavor of the meat. But anyway, it talks about all his competition, how it just was fascinating to me. All of the innovation that it was they did was amazing. And I think Heinz was the first person to uh, put something in a clear bottle. So, I mean, it was, and this is before they had electricity and in the show, somebody gets electricity, but they have all kinds. Jim has watched a few with me. We watched the one that um, White Castle and Nathan's Hot Dogs. But anyway, it's something I enjoy and I just thought I'd share it with you. And one of these days I might share some others. Some time ago I told you about how I, my mind is not the cleanest mind in the world and I kind of know why. And I had some of my friends that went to the Catholic school with me were in agreement. They felt like they probably, we were just so sheltered. We were so sheltered in the Catholic school. But in the back of the church, they always had a bulletin. They rated the shows according to what was acceptable and what wasn't acceptable. And so the first thing I'd do was go down to see what was condemned. And I almost made a mental note that when I grew up, <laughs> that I was gonna watch that movie. But my mom would be there and she'd be writing them down. So none of the, I mean, the condemned movies weren't like X-rated. They were just things that the Catholic Church didn't want us to watch. And sometimes some of them I watched later I thought, I wonder why that was uh, condemned. Anyway, so now I would like to announce the 11 winners of my skincare video. I'm gonna do it in alphabetical order, starting with dermatology. Dermatology will be providing one full-sized universal tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 46 to three people. The very first person's name that was drawn was Rose J. Congratulations, Rose. The next winner is Chris Hemrick. Congratulations, Chris. And the last winner of the dermatology is Maureen Hansen. Congratulations, Maureen. Skin Diva is providing three full-size bottles of the 20% Argerline, and it also has Matrixyl 3000 and Hyaluronic Acid. The first winner is Kat Nuccio. Congratulations, Kat. The second winner is D Sharp. Congratulations, D. And the next winner is Sadia Lamb. Congratulations, Sadia. Timeless Skincare is providing five full size products, and they are the vitamin C plus E plus frulic acid. Matrixyl 3000, Hyaluronic Acid, Hydrating Eye Cream, and the Squalane Oil. Two five lucky winners, and those winners are number one, Colleen Tucker. Congratulations, Colleen. The second winner is Michelle Moore. Congratulations, Michelle. The next winner is Karen Case. Congratulations, Karen. Sonia Hubbard. Congratulations, Sonia. And the last winner is Karen Keza. Congratulations, Karen. So congratulations to all of you. Make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. And thank you all for watching, for commenting, for giving me the thumbs up, for giving me your precious time. I mean, it is precious time. It is all good. 
Um, I'll see you in my next video and you take care. In alpha book, I'm going to do it in alpha, ooh, but I've shared for, I got some jalapeno gem. I love to watch these. And it's like any time Mother's Day comes around, I'm thinking,